guys, this is Sivani and welcome to the very first video on my channel, Science with Sivani. So today we are going to do five experiments which are really simple but yet it will explain you uh, scientific concepts. You can try this at home because the things which I have used are easily available. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first we have a balloon and a bottle. Now we insert the balloon into the bottle. Make sure the grip is nice. We will try to blow into this balloon and let's see what happens. It's difficult. Now we'll try to make a hole into the balloon. Okay. Let's blow into the balloon again. Yay! It blows up. Do you notice something here? Even if I don't hold the neck of the balloon, the balloon is still blown up. And as soon as I leave the hole, the balloon gets back to normal. Why do you think this is the case? The reason behind this is air pressure. So for the next experiment, we'll need some water, ball and some pins. We we'll fill the ball with water. Make sure it's completely filled. Now we add the pins into the ball one by one and slowly. What do you think should happen here? The water should spill, right? Anyway, it's completely filled already. It's what's, but what is happening here? I have almost emptied the two packets of pins and I can still put in. You can see the water is little bit bulged out but it's not spilling out. Why is water behaving this way? The reason behind this is surface tension. In fact, this is the same reason behind why water droplets are spherical in space. So now I've got a glass of water and an uh, arrow drawn on the piece of paper. So let me see what happens when I... Oh my god. I'll show you. You will see an amazing thing here. ta -da! The arrowhead reversed. The arrowhead is reversing when we see it through the water. Isn't it amazing? The reason behind this is refraction of light. So for the next experiment, we got some salt and some ice. Now we will put the ice in one hand and in another we will put some salt and then ice above it. Which one do you think I'm feeling colder in? Trust me, the one with salt was unbearable. You can try this at home, but please do not take it up as a challenge. Back in 2005 and 6, this challenge, the ice and salt challenge was trending in the internet and people have hurted themselves. So be cautious. The reason is, the process is endothermic, which means the process of salt being dissolved requires some energy or heat. Now this energy or heat you can say is drawn from our hand. Hence we feel cold. Many of us love drinking coffee, right? Have you noticed the two holes in the lid of the coffee mug? Do you think there's a reason behind it? Let's try to answer. So I have a can of fruit juice here, ear tied and sealed. Let's make a hole over here. Will this hole help us to drink? Let's find out. Okay. No. It's not dripping out. You can... Now let's make another hole similar to that of a coffee lid. Diametrically opposite to that. I'm done with that. Let's see. So now after having two holes in the can, the reason is ear flow. The second hole helps in the flow of ear. Thus, it makes the drinking process easier. 
So these are the five experiments. Do comment which one did you like the most. Before signing off, I have a question for you. Can we boil water without heating it? Yes, you heard me right. Can we boil water without heating it? Do comment your answer below. Please and out. You will have lots of fun. Give me a like.